let the team touch. Yeah. Time now for us to join the stars of Grandchester, which these days is giving the town of Midsummer a run for its money when it comes to small town crime. Uh, before we have a proper catch up with Robson and Tom about returning for the eighth series, let's take a look at the not so sleepy Cambridgeshire village. Tell us about the man, Will. He was running. From where? From the verge. He was crossing without looking. I didn't see. You didn't see? What did you say? It happened so quick. So quick you barely had time to break. He did break. There were tire marks. Hardly. The sun was setting. Maybe it was in your eyes. How fast were you going, Mr. Davenport? My speedometer's been, um... It's been playing up recently, so... That's convenient. How fast? The man was running. He didn't look. I'll tell you, shall I? 78 miles an hour. Downright dangerous, wouldn't you say, Mr. Davenport? Yeah, it's quite yeah. dangerous, 78 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm <laughs> slow sorry. Down. Slow <laughs> down, man. <laughs> Always living in the fast lane. <laughs> <laughs> um, congratulations on eight series. And you're filming series nine as well. That's we still on hold. Just finished, just finished series no. nine, yeah. But who would have thought? Eight, nine series. So I think that's a real testament to yeah. the production team who make it, the writing of Daisy Coulomb, and I think we've had a fantastic team making yeah. this, and I think that's why it's so successful. And you, uh, uh, yeah. and you, and the executive producers, You're very and you, the yeah, they're, they're <laughs> sort of people. The North Star. <laughs> it takes us through all of the series. No, no, I, I think we just have a gallery of really likable characters. I think Grantchester is one of those series where you get together as a family, your shoulders drop. And it's just lovely because I think you want to follow and you care about the characters so much that you invest in that hour on ITV nine o'clock. When o'clock you'd start, when you start, like all those years ago, like the first or second series, <laughs> all, those years, all those years. Ago. Ago. I love it. You know, I was years ago. Was it thirty years ago? Yeah. <laughs> like talkies. You just finished doing the video for. No, when you first started, did you do you have a good idea about the narrative arc as to where you were going, or, or had you any idea you were going to it would be as successful as it is? Oh no, we were done by series three. Right, that that was it. We were done, and as I said before, you know, we were surrounded by great writers, be it Daisy Coulomb or uh, John Jackson. And we just thought, right, that's over. And then Emma Kingsman Lloyd, who's one of the reasons why it's such a success, the executive went, should we go again? Let's get a new energy and bring this fella in, Tom Brittany. Oh, and Tom cool. came along and brought this, this young much, hot this shot. hot shot, <laughs> gorgeous, charismatic, <laughs> talented, and uh, brought this much needed energy to the new series. And it just took off from there. So, Tom, you, you joined about season four, didn't you? Yes, yeah, season four. As, as Reverend Will. Was it a bromance straight away? Instantly. <laughs> but we, ha we had to do a chemistry test, mm. you know, to test if we, if we could get along and... Uh, so, love did. at first sight? It was love at first sight. <laughs> it was, cos I went in and we just, you know, we had, we had the scenes. It was, it, there was a bit where I stood up <laughs> in the audition and in, in the scene and, and you just looked up, up at me. And it was quite an endearing moment. But it was one of those things. Tom just walked in and, and it was there. He didn't need to say anything. It was there before we actually were doing the auditioning. That's and sometimes that's how it is. Yeah. <laughs> he walked in, he said nothing. He walked in. That's right. Thank Thank you, I like him. <laughs> yeah, he, he's great. He's really, really great. But no, it's, it's, it's a great combination of crime solving, you know, compelling characters in relationships and heartfelt storytelling. Yeah. Mm. And uh, it's, a, it's a great combination. That and must be the nice thing is that as the show progresses and you can... Because it's, it's got such a fan base and it's so well loved, it gives you the opportunity, I suppose, to indulge... You know, you can actually develop your characters a bit more rather than you're just solving another crime. Yeah, I mean, for me, it was the first job I had that... Had an arc. You could go, you know, it, it carried on. It wasn't just one episode. And as as I grew as an actor with it, and and we, we got to have a part in the storylines and get to know our characters and go, well, should we should we do this this series? And Will would probably do this, and well, you know, probably kill a man in in, in the first episode on his bike. Kill him, <laughs> yeah. kill him on your push bike then, or push bike? No, push bike? No, it's a motorbike. It was a yeah, seventy-eight yeah, miles an hour, an hour. <laughs> on a push bike. <laughs> <laughs> that tour de France. <laughs> it's just, it's, are you Bradley Wiggins? <laughs> it's yeah. me, yeah. So he's, got, he's going for a bit of an emotional time, your character, Tom. Yes, he, very. I mean, Will always has. I mean, I have to admit, it's, he's been through a runner every single series, but this one in particular is just... It, it's probably the hardest thing that's happened to Will so far, and, and you really see whether, whether he can pull himself back from what happens. Well, he's struggling with fatherhood, didn't, isn't he? With, he's with got daddy dad. issues, yeah. let's it, say. What happened with his dad, then? Your, what, your character, what happened with his dad in, in your...? 
Well, <laughs> a lot. I mean, just to, to briefly, he, 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 he killed himself in, in Series 4. That was quite a traumatic thing. But he wasn't a very good father. And, and at the beginning of the series, Will is a stepfather. He's got a child on the way, and, and he's worried about being the father that he had and, right. and, and being a better role model than he had before. And the only person to save him from this pathway of destruction is obviously that endearing relationship. That's, I think, the drive of the show is, is the person who can exonerate him, is, is us, because yeah. we know the good and bad within each other. And I think that engine really carries it through. You know? I love the fact you probably got you, you both get your ha hands yeah. dirty as well. I mean, Robson, you've been, how long have you been executive producing it for now? Uh, about seven years. Right. But do you know what it is? I get up every morning and I get to work with my friends who just happen to be that tight-knit family for yeah. four or five months of the year. Yeah. And it's really, really beautiful. And, and in Series 9, sadly, Tom, Tom's storyline comes to an end and he had to leave. And that was probably one of the most challenging things I've ever done in my 40-year oh. career. Oh, it, was was a, it was a really difficult day to say goodbye to this, this guy we and everything it. we'd created in front of the lady. Even Even when we have scenes where we have to argue as characters, we will cry. Yeah. <laughs> we will just be there going, no, Johnny and Will make up. <laughs> so it was, I mean, yeah, no, having to leave at Series 9. Oh, in... oh, it, was, it, was, it was one of the toughest I've made. I, I may regret it, uh, I think, probably. No, it's uh, because, I, again, I get to hang out with my best mate every day and yeah. do a show that's just been... I love the I love how well you've got... Yeah, it's a great so hybrid, you know. And... Yeah, we go fishing together with Sam Fender, yeah. who, who can do that. After my days. first fishing experience with Robson Green. <laughs> TV fisherman and Robson that, Green. I mean, and Sam star. Fender. Yeah, <laughs> Gary, I think I peaked. Always like this guy. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was in Australia peaked. last year. I was doing a fishing show in Australia last year, and um, I sent him a picture. I caught a southern bluefin, 30 pound. It was a beauty, and everybody was going to eat it. It was going to be fabulous. So I sent him the picture of this southern bluefin. I went, What do you think of that? And he replied with a photograph of him and Cameron Diaz, <laughs> who were filming together. And he went, What do you think of that? <laughs> Yeah. So Cameron Diaz trumped my tune. <laughs> no, I, I would have been rather been fishing. That was the real dream. Yeah, it was great. If, was this filmed or was this just having a nice time together? Was this all filmed, you, you, you guys and Sam Fender? Or... Just having no, a nice no, time. Just having a nice oh, time. We, we did a music video that. afterwards. Yeah. We no, a... no word of a lie. We were, <laughs> we were fishing with him. Sam's a mate. And uh, he, wanted, he rang me up and said, you take me fishing? I went, of course I'll take you fishing, because he, he knows every episode of Extreme Fishing with Robson Green. It's his guilty pleasure. Anyway, we were on the boat with him and he went, do you want to be in my pup video? So we're in Howden Aldi Death Queue <laughs> with Sam Fender playing, playing, playing the guitars. <laughs> no, we're in a Sam Fender video. <laughs> How good is that? Uh, Tom, you directed a few episodes. I did, yeah. I directed an episode in series seven now. And would then you like to do more of that? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to ramp up to do a, a feature film, if I can. I mean, I love it. you've yeah. got such a brilliant cast. I mean, what's it like working with them all? I know you touched briefly on it, but... Well, it's, it's, it's the hybrid of the series. I mean, you've got these really dark, edgy, uncomfortable scenarios, but above it, you've got a cast who are capable of levity and humour. Tom's got great comic timing. So has Al Weaver, who's a master of it. You've got Tessa Peake Jones. You've got Casey Ainsworth. Oh, you know, Nick Grimble. I, I mean, and them together bring the warmth to it, so you've got this lovely balance that is a, a rarity, and that, I think that makes it event television, and I think that's why millions of people watch Grantchester all over the world. I've been working in Iceland, I've been working in New Zealand, Australia, recently South America in the Amazon rainforest, and they go, hey, I love your series. No way. Yeah, yeah man. It's great. Yeah, it's crazy. What about you, Tom? Where have you travelled to and people have gone? America. I think America is the place where I'll get recognised the most. It really, it, they love it over there. Yeah, it's a Because they do, they love British... Crime shows yeah. that show how beautiful Cambridge is, and, and the murders. I mean, we, these villages that have just a really high rate of murder. My, you know, my wife, my wife's Norwegian, and in Norway they have a, um, around Easter, they have a, like, crime weekend. That's right. Like, yeah, they're yeah there is with, an... They, they do yeah, great yeah, Scandi Noir yeah. over there, but they, they, they're obsessed with British crime. Yeah. They oh. love Grantchester. We do it well. We yeah. do it well. And yeah, again, I'm, I'm very proud of our show. I think it's unique in that way. Well, yeah, a nine series, it's got to be so yeah. brilliant. Um, soldier, soldier, can we ever expect it to come back? What? What? Me and Drew? I'm too old, no, man. You're not. I'm you're still 60 this year. You're very kind. Have <laughs> you met my agent? Where they've been at? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be running the MOD. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? When I was seven years old, I used to look at someone my age and think, how are you still alive? <laughs> and, and, and may that kind of thought process continue. But, but that, no, no, it was God good while alive. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. And I, it was good while it lasted, Soldier Soldier. I'd love Great. for it to come back as a special. Oh, Just a one-off special. OK, I'll do a one-off. All right, thank you. <laughs> <When you're six. laughs> Grantchester, a Series 8 is Thursday, 9 o'clock on ITV1 and ITVX. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks. Uh,